Now, my next guest has just celebrated a year on Coronation Street. That has gone by fast. And while Claire Sweeney had some very emotional scenes, um, this week, though, she's having a bit of fun because her friendship with Steve McDonald is very naughty. It's beginning to blossom. Surprise! Where's Tim for a start? Got plans? He's here. <laughs> Weather County are, are unveiling a bust for Tommy Orpo. You're not leaving me with the cast of cocoon. I'll drive you. Whoa! Well, if that's what you call art, you can stick it. There's a whole bunch like it. Get caught, I'll take the fall. That's very noble. Tim's got a spare key underneath the plant pot in the back garden. All I need is for you to give me a bunk up over the fence. Mm, bunk up's my middle name. What are you doing? It's like the godfather when they find the horse in the bed. Oh, Claire, what a laugh. What much needed comic relief um, with the two of you, and it's, it just works so well. Do you know, it's funny because I was so entrenched in the dobs with Maureen, uh, yes. Evelyn, and Tyrone, lovely Alan, and Fizz, Jenny, and the kids. And I was a bit nervous when I found out I had a big storyline with Bill, Ken Barlow. I was yeah. like, oh, oh God, my legend. God. Icon, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> and I was nervous going into the Barlows, and I have to say, from day one, I've not stopped laughing. It's been Kids. such good fun. He, I mean, in real life, Simon Gregson is one of the funniest people you'd meet. Bill, I'm obsessed, because I'm a Corrie fan, like me yourself. Too. Me too. I'd say to him, i say, tell me about rehearsals, like, in the 1960s. Oh, he's got all those stories? Yes. Oh, wow. So, you know, I'm like, what was Ian Sharples like? <laughs> what was Minnie Caldwell like? I'm fascinated. <laughs> it's great, and he is a walking historian. I mean, he knows he really the whole history of Corrie, because he's been there since the very Because we were talking the other day, and I was asking him how many wives he'd had, and then he mentioned, I said, was that the one who got electrocuted oh, with, yes, the, yes, with yes. the hairdryer? Yes, 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 I do remember. Well, I don't remember, but <laughs> I'm a I fan. do. I do. <laughs> but the thing is, it just makes sense. The two of you have got such great chemistry. Um, and then also the chemistry between you and Steve McDonald. Yes. Is between Cassie and Steve. They've got to get together. Come on. Do you know, I hope Come so. On. I would it has love to it. Happen. Because I love working with him. Yeah. And you know, when you meet someone your age <laughs> who has all the same references in life. Yes. And we laugh be before the cameras start rolling, me and him are screaming, laughing, then they go <laughs> action. And I thought, I hope this carries on through and comes sure. out. And it, you know, people seem to be liking it. So. No, it's good. The thing is, you can actually, you come in, you make an impression. Of course you do. That's what always happens with a, with a new character. And then it's all, it was really quite dark. As it was, we know, it was. but then you start. It's like a little onion. You start to get the different layers of this character, and for you, that must be fantastic to play the really dramatic stuff. Yeah, but also this having fun. Well, that was, as you said, was wonderful. My first scene with Maureen Lipman, the fourteen-page two-hander, which was great. <laughs> yeah. And then you know the stories that you know Cassie. She's had some, but she was quite horrible in the garage. Yes. With Abby and Kevin. Oh yes, I remember. I mean, yes, yes. So yes. I find myself doing takes with um, with lovely Sally sometimes, and afterwards I go, I'm really sorry about that. You know? <laughs> I've been so horrid. I know, so it was nice okay. to do some nice, fun stuff. Sure, as, yeah. sure. No, absolutely. And you've been there a year already. Yeah. Has yeah. that not flown by? It's gone so fast. Honestly, because I just think of you as being a real newbie, but you're not. You know, you're really part of it now. Uh, yeah, I feel very, very lucky, and I'm yeah. still loving it. I look forward to going to work, and especially reading all these new scenes now with Steve MacDonald. I'm so yeah. excited about it. It's it's just um, yeah because it is it's such an institution and if I mean I did marry him. What wife number would I be? Tricky. What wife number? Is would it you, about, would it be eight about wives? nine? <laughs> I think it's like it's eight. certainly more than Henry VIII. <laughs> um, and, and I actually think did he not marry someone twice? He married. I mean, married did Tracy. But I think he's still married now. Actually, is he still married to Tracy? He's still oh married. gosh, guys, I don't know. I know. It's, just, it's very confusing. But he is sort of like blue beard of the street with all, <laughs> the, all of the ways. And it's never quite worked out. Never quite worked out. But look, you know the thing about that is, and chemistry is a thing, you found love when you weren't looking for it, isn't it? And it's great. Congratulations. I'm so pleased on for you. On the ice. Because it's smashing on <laughs> Dancing on Ice. Because the two of you, you and Ricky Hatton, been really good pals. I've known Ricky for oh, Luke. like 25 years. I know. I was in Mallorca. I've known him for 25 years or so. And we kind of always passed each other, you know, in our events. Yeah, 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 we yeah. did a TV show together. Did you? Um, first of all, I met him in La Manga, like, early 2000s. Then we did um, Dance for Comic Relief together. Did you? 2013. Jeez. Yeah. And then met on Dancing on Ice, and it's great, you know. And you just, lots... you just click with somebody you know and then it makes lovely. me laugh. Oh, geez, look. That's it. I would say to all guys out there, if you want to impress a woman, uh, don't diamonds or 
handbags that cost all that money that the Beckhams give to each other. Uh, make a girl laugh. Absolutely. And you are there. There That's we go. It. it makes me laugh and we both like only fools and horses. So what's not to like? <laughs> and just be kind. Just be kind. Now, look, you're going to stay in Coronation Street for a very long time, I hope. I hope Because I feel so. as if you've really found your home. I mean, I know we loved you in Brookside. Brookside was amazing. Um, but it just feels as if it, it just works. It really does. Well, I feel very blessed. I love the show. And at the moment, I'm signed until next year. So, right. you know, I'm, I'm, en I'm enjoying it and I'm happy. And I feel very honoured to be doing a storyline with Bill... Oh, and, you know, I know. And you're getting, Simon, yeah. So. You're getting the best of it. You're getting to work with all these amazing people. I would like that. Here's, here's what I would like to see. Come Can on. you go and tell them? I want you and Steve to get together. Obviously, Tracy's going to get really, really jealous, right? So she won't like that. She'll have a fight on it's, the cobbles. Exactly. And it's, yeah. it's that thing of she doesn't want him necessarily, but she doesn't want your character to have him. Exactly. She doesn't want anybody else to have him. And then I would quite like you to run the Rovers together. Oh. So that's, I'm just saying. Right, there we go. Put it <laughs> so, out there, Lorraine. So start writing it. Start writing it now. Start writing the script. <laughs> no, I'll leave that to the experts. Thank you so much. Thank Great you. Great to see you. Really good to see you. And Corrie, of course, continues. It's tomorrow at nine o'clock.